to one individual genius. But that person doesn't exist. There was no master plan, and the design is purely coincidental. Speaking of history, Oh, oh, nabubuksan yata to. Ay, doon, on, sa kabilan. Oo. Aba ka, hindi din. Buksan mo. Hindi yata pwede. Sa araw lang yata. Sa araw lang siguro. Ah? Malamig yata eh. Het Damrak is de oorsprong van Amsterdam als havenstad. Eeuwenlang stonden Amsterdammers op de oevers van het einde de schepen te kijken. Toch bleek de blik op het ei ook een blik op het verleden. De 19e eeuw werd namelijk de eeuw van de spoorlijn. Door de bouw van het Central Station, which was designed by Pierre Kuipers, the view of the eye disappeared. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. My name is Martin. Everybody understands a little bit English? Yes. Okay. Shall we do a test? I have a toilet. Where? At the back of the boat. Where? A wooden door with the mirror. Oh, so and it is a small toilet for small things. <laughs> Everybody understand that, eh? Yes. Yeah, great. Now listen. <laughs> we have a lot of nationalities in the boat. Oh, I so it would be great if we all be a little quiet if the computer is talking. Okay? Mm -hmm. So everybody can understand the stories about the artworks. Vroeger gebruikten meestal onze all over museum. Zo was in de middeleeuwen de stadsboodschapper die het nieuws verkondigde. Later luisterde naar de radio en toen kwam de televisie, waardoor het beeld opeens dominant werd. Door de komst van smartphones en laptops hebben onze ogen de rol van ontvanger helemaal overgenomen. Pas op, want dit werk van de Engelse art directors Tom Biddle en Barbara Ryan ziet alles. Night vision. Tom Biddle and Barbara Ryan. In the past, our ears served as our primary source of information. During the Middle Ages, a town messenger would announce the news on the Square. Mm. Later, we listened to the radio and then came television, which made the image dominant. Smartphones and laptops are to blame for our eyes completely taking over the role of the scene. Watch out, because this artwork by the British art directors Tom Biddle and Barbara Ryan Nou, we varen nu op het Oosterdok, het voormalige havengebied van Amsterdam. En we gaan richting Nemo. We are now sailing on the Oosterdok, the former harbor of Amsterdam. And we are heading for the direction of Nemo, the Technology and Science Museum, just in front of us, the green building. Welcome, Netherlands. ...van de brug gemaakt. Het lijkt alsof hij de eerder uitgegunde lijnen juist weer uitgelicht heeft. Mr. J.A. van der Veldebrug. Peter Vink. After creating a first design, architects often erase many of the lines they initially drew. That was probably the case with this bridge as well. The modest, open construction consists almost entirely of triangles. The architects wanted to minimize the obstruction of the view. Because of the installation by the Dutch artist Peter Vink, the bridge is now an eye-catcher, 
and it seems like he highlighted the formerly erased lines. mark the history of seafaring entrepreneurs. The massive white cube, which now houses the Maritime Museum, used to be the National Sea Arsenal. It was built in 1655 and is distinct from water on three sides, making it easy for ships to be provided with new ropes, cannons, gunpowder, and water. The are much bigger. Various objects from the depot now play a leading role in a shadow play that is reminiscent of a landscape or an old map. Shadowscapes is part of a series of similar works by the South African artist and activist. Only in the winter time. Festival. Lights festival.